Today we're going to talk about SQLite and the first steps we need to take to connect to the database on the desktop. First, add a copy file build step to copy the source SQLite database file into the resources folder. Now add a new property to the window one object, type SQLite database as its data type. Add the open event handler to the window one object. Now create a new SQLite database instance and assign to it the DB property. Let's reference the DB file.sqlite file copied into the resources folder on the running app. If we get a valid folder item object pointed by the F variable, we assign it as the database file for the DB property. Now we connect the SQLite database pointed by the DB property, so the database engine works with the assigned database file. If the connection is successful, then we proceed by calling the SelectSQL method to retrieve all of the records from the tasks table as a row set pointed by the RS variable. If we get a non-nilled object and the row set is not after the last row, that means we have some records to work with. So let's iterate every record on the RS row set in order to access the task column and retrieve the associated data as a string. That data will be added as a new row in the list box named list box one. And that's all, let's run the app. This way of accessing the DB file on the app resources folder only works for reading the DB records when the app is going to be sandboxed. If you need to write the database in a sandboxed app, then you need to copy the files first from the app resources folder to the application data folder, for example. That's all. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to our channel so you're notified when new videos like this are posted.